All right, hello. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to mod Peglin because uh, a lot of people have been having issues, so I figured I might as well make a video tutorial. So first thing I'm going to do is obviously go to the mod. We the uh, wiki here has links to where to download things. I'll also put it in the description. And then you want to go properties in Steam. Go properties, local files, and browse. And then go in not OBS. Go into no. There we go. Oh, there we go. It's like just as I reach. Go in here and then download Bepinex. So, of course, we want to download that first. I just forgot. <laughs> Best download the right here. You want to get the X64 version, uh, you know, 5418. That was it. Uh, and then after that downloads, you want to go ahead and extract it into the game folder here. So it's going to be Steam. The default Steam location is the C drive, but mine's just on the D drive. So you want to just extract it into Steam. So I'm going to move it here to show you. Uh, extract all. Then just remove this part and it should be good. And extract. And then it should look like this. Oh, here we go. It should look like this. I did it wrong. <laughs> there we go. Yes. So, yes, just be sure this core file here is in the main directory. So it's just Peglin demo, Bepinex, and then it's got core and all the other system files. And then you go back to Steam, uh, launch the game. Maybe wait. I'm going to install the Peglin Tweaks mod for this tutorial, but you know, all of them have the same installation process. Uh, then we launch the game. And after the game launches, it will generate the plugins file where you put mods. Okay, so launch the game, just quit, and then you can go in here. This is plugins folder that gets generated. So go into there, put all your mods into it, um, which is still downloading. There we go. Uh, I have to keep it. Yep. So you put all your mods in there. Um, you know, Pretend I have multiples on like five right now. And then launch the game again and it should work fine. So I'm going to just do that real quick, see if it worked. Um, this mod, it tweaks the game a bit and changes some stats, but looks like it works to me. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's a very simple process. Um, and I think official mod support might be planned for the future, but even if it stays with this system, it's still pretty simplistic and easy to set up. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this helped.